MercerBears.com recapping the win tonight with the Bears over the Mock 65-56. Joined now by head coach Susie Gardner. Congratulations, Coach. A nice win. Thank you so much. And I just want to shout out to the crowd tonight. You know, we've had big crowds in the past, but they came to see Notre Dame and Florida State and Georgia. But tonight they came to see us. And it was just an awesome crowd. It was loud. They helped us uh, over the hump at the end. And thank you so much to our fans for coming out tonight. Well, this team, the Mox and the Bears, two years back-to-back -back co champions in the Southern Conference. That's uh, not this year. Yeah, not this year. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's I'm so proud of our players because it's hard to win a regular season championship, whether you're co-champions or or by yourself. And, and so, uh, you know, our, our guys finally pulled it out to, to, to have won it. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. We do have a very difficult uh, game on Saturday with ETSU. But well, we'll let them celebrate for the next 30 minutes to an hour, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And they get back to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because it's work. It's just, it began in the preseason, and it continues all the way through whatever postseason there is. This has been going on for three years. The, where we are today, uh, honestly, has been going on since they were freshmen and sophomores. And this is just kind of the uh, all the lessons we've learned, the hard lessons, the good lessons that we've learned are coming to a head right now in this season. And it's been a, a very special season. Uh, but, you know, you know, Having a close game like this, you know, we might not have been ready for this game had we not had this as their, when they were freshmen and sophomores. So this has been a long, long process, and I'm so happy that our kids are reaping the benefits. Absolutely. We roll the highlight package, and, of course, we could talk about Kalia. Uh, Sydney Means now third and all-time in SoCon assists. Yeah, she probably would be all-time if I'd have played her her freshman year. I'm sure she would, would agree with that. But, uh, you know, I think Sydney will had four, uh, 12 assists out of our 14. We only had four turnovers as a team, which is crazy, 14 assists, four turnovers. And then, you know, Kalia didn't shoot the ball great in the first half, but, you know, I'm going to go to her at the end because she's won so many big games for us. But it wasn't just the scoring. It was our defense at the end. I mean, Alex Williams got a huge steal at the end, and we just – got stops and that's what we needed was to get stops so we could score easily in transition and yes you and you did that you had some nice fast breaks that they cashed in on I noticed also in uh, points of the game you were extending your defense yeah you know uh, Burns was hurting us number 23 was hurting us uh, you know I thought Kalia was was close to her most of the time on defense but we just decided hey we can't we can't let her catch because she's just scoring hand in the face taking it to the rim three pointers and so we, we felt like that that's what we needed to do and um, you know, that's what we decided to do at halftime. Yeah, you talked about Sydney not getting playing time as a freshman. I think there was, what was her name, Precious Bridges? I think there was, you know, uh -huh. it, she had the yeah, but, big you know. shoes to fill. <laughs> but Sydney, hey, I'm so proud of Sid. And, you know, without her, we don't, we're not where we are for sure. Well, you've got uh, the mocks now behind you in the rearview mirror. Well, let's look ahead quickly for ETSU Saturday. Well, you know, they're playing well. They're playing with a lot of confidence. I mean, they've got one of the best players in the league in Tartar, and, and she is just a dy dynamic guard. Uh, she can score 30, 40 points, um, you know, and they've got a freshman that, that's playing great. I think she leads the conference in steals, and so they're going to get after us. And, you know, I know for sure that, that ETSU is excited about playing us because they, they do not fear us. I mean, and they're, they're a great team, you know, and we always have trouble with them. So Brittany Ezell is going to come to town and, and, and have them prepared. And so we've just got one more game. Hopefully another great crowd to honor these seniors. As we know, it will be senior night, so hopefully we'll have another good crowd. Absolutely. Well, a fantastic win tonight as the Bears take care of business once again here at Hawkins Arena. Hope to see you here on Saturday.